We're now standing in the second gallery of our museum. This, this por portion goes from Vietnam up to the present time. We will start here in Vietnam. Vietnam, class 1962 to 1975. The showpiece in our museum in this section is the M151 Jeep that you see here. It's decked out as a company aid or, f or f uh, forward frontline ambulance. Uh, it has an, a, a medical driver in it, and we have two of the patients showing you how it was configured for that frontline ambulance. We also have a set of jungle fatigues. The jungle fatigue would make its appearance in 1966. When the U.S. Army first went into Vietnam, we were wearing a heavy cotton uh, fatigue uniform, about as well suited for the tropics as my canvas and wool was suited for the tropics. So the Army would, would uh, develop this. Uh, it was made out of very lightweight material. If it did get wet, it dried off fairly quickly. And being that you were in the tropics, you perspired a lot, and that would evaporate off, off your body quite quickly also. Our particular uh, fatigue here is from a Captain Reed of the Army Dental Corps, who also was a Green Beret. And we also have his Green Beret in the display case that you see here. Now further down here, we have a Special Forces aid pack which was carried by one of our foundation members, Sergeant Major Ed Miller. Uh, this, he donated this to the museum uh, several years ago. Also, uh, we have a little section on foot traps and punji sticks. The Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese would lay these, uh, these nasty foot traps in the jungle trails, or they would spread these punji sticks. And when the Army first went over there again, we were wearing the standard leather combat boot or the leather jump boot. And as you're walking along and you step on one of those punji sticks, you automatically became a casualty. When you looked down, there was a spike sticking up through your foot. And the Viet Cong would put uh, extraments on these things so to make it a bad infection to boot. But to com combat the punji stick, the Army came up with the jungle boot. And here we have a pair of the jungle boots worn by one of our Army nurses in Vietnam. It had a steel shank that ran the length of the sole. So if you did step on the punji stick, it did not penetrate into your foot and you, and, uh, you did not become a casualty. Now here we have a portrait of Specialist Lawrence Joel. He is the first uh, combat medic to earn the Medal of Honor in Vietnam and also the first African-American medical soldier to uh, receive the Medal of Honor. Uh, back in November of 1965, at that time he was with the 173rd Airborne Brigade uh, in the, in the uh, Latrang Valley. Uh, the front of his column, they were, they were on patrol, uh, stumbled onto a North Vietnamese Army uh, regiment. Uh, the front of the line was decimated uh, quite quickly by machine gun fire. He would run forward to the cry of uh, medic, and as he's running forward uh, to give aid, he is shot through both of his legs. He would continue to crawl on his hands and his belly to get up there to the, to the front line to administer first aid to his fallen sky soldiers. He would survive, and as you can see, he would receive the Medal of Honor from President Johnson at the White House. He would stay in the Army, and uh, he would be sp uh, spend time at uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where he would finally retire from the U.S. Army in the uh, 1980s. Now, over here on the other side, we have some exper an experimental litter that we tried to use in the Mekong Delta. It's sort of a hovercraft. Uh, there was a lot of water down there in the Mekong Delta. So if you'll follow me over there, we'll take a look at that. 